Don't be a tough guy, but don't be a... Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to my channel, Young Manhood. And today, this message is about not being a tough guy. And what I mean by don't be a tough guy as a man. You shouldn't be running around here thinking you could, you could just, you could just, you could just every single person that you get into any type of altercation with. You don't want to be running around here fighting everybody, getting into physical confrontations, physical altercations with people. That's that's really not what a man should be doing out here. A man should only fight when he has to, or fight to protect someone. A man should not be out here just randomly challenging people to fight. By challenging someone to fight, I don't mean you just walk up to somebody and say, hey man, wanna fight? No, I'm not I'm not saying that. I'm just saying um you don't want to have um fights over petty disagreements, things that should have never escalated to that level. Because there are a lot of consequences, potential consequences to a man getting into physical fights. It's a dangerous thing to be fighting with somebody. It can escalate into life or life and death. You can end up killing them. You could end up hurting them. You could end up um, hurting yourself. You could end up getting yourself killed. So if a man does, does fight, you only want to fight for something that is worth fighting for. So you don't want to have a fight over something that is uh, that stemmed from something something that was inconsequential, something that didn't matter. So, uh, let's say someone scuffs your shoe, someone steps on your shoe, you putting you allowing that to escalate to a physical fight is not worth it. I've had people step on my shoe before. You know what? It's a shoe. I understand it bothered me, it annoyed me, but I just I just let it go. I'm not going to allow that to escalate into something further. When really um, having to beat up somebody or get into a fight and potentially get beat up myself over some damn shoe scuff. Does that matter? No. In the long run, it does not matter. So as a man, you want to be thinking long term. You don't want to be thinking short term. You don't want to be out here trying to check people physically on every little thing. Because of the potential consequences. But because of the potential um life threatening harming consequences and also the legal consequences of if you get into a physical altercation with somebody over something petty and now and, and now you're just adding charges you're giving yourself a arrest record a criminal record you possibly have to fight that in court you don't want to take it to that level you don't want to cause yourself um, unneeded stress just because you couldn't control your emotions and you could not de-escalate the situation which as a man, it is important that you can um, talk yourself out of situations as well. It doesn't have to always become physical. You need to develop um, some sort of communication skills so you don't, so it doesn't have to always get to that level. So it doesn't have to rise to that level of, now I gotta fight this person. Now this person gotta, now I'm about to hurt this person. Now this person might hurt me. And that's just way too much unneeded drama in your life. And one thing that I think a lot of senseless and pointless fights stem from when it comes to people um, especially men I believe that um, a lot of pointless fights come from perceived or actual forms of disrespect when somebody disrespects you in some way or you believe that you have been disrespected by somebody I believe that when that happens there's something in us that bucks up and that's a natural reaction that's a normal reaction that's a human reaction but we need to always be moved by this. Is it worth it? Is it worth it for me to put hands on this person and seriously hurt this person over this slight, over this disrespect? It depends how great the disrespect is and I'm gonna talk about that in a moment. But what I'm speaking of is, um, is non-physical, you know, they're not putting their hands on you, they're not touching you, they're just making statements to you. They're just talking, they're just birds chirping. And when a bird's chirping, let it chirp. Keep moving. Don't matter. 
your man that's walking around and let's say you have a girlfriend with you, you have your wife with you, um, if they're attractive and you're walking around throughout the cities, if you live in a city area, it wouldn't be uncommon for, um, let's say if a group of guys were coming by, you know, a group of younger guys, um, not, not that they would all do that, but let's just say hypothetically there's a group of young, uh, younger guys coming in the opposite direction, you're walking with your attractive wife or your attractive girlfriend, they might say something, they might give some looks, they might, they might try to catcall, they might try to um, say something to even provoke you maybe, they might, you know, you never know, it's possible. And um, they might try to disrespect her to try to get under your skin. The thing is, it's not worth it. As long as they're not putting their hands on anybody, which, is, which totally changes everything, as long as they're not touching you, keep moving. As long as they're not preventing you from moving forward, keep moving forward. Keep walking. Let it go. Let the birds chirp. Let them talk from the sidelines while you in the game. Let them chirp. It means nothing to a man. And I'm hammering this point because your life is valuable, young man. Your life is valuable, man. Your life is valuable, older man. Your life matters. Treasure your life. Don't throw it away over something that doesn't matter. With that being said, now let's move on to when you as a man, just because you're not a, what I consider a tough guy, which in this context is someone that's just starting, starting unneeded physical altercations, allowing it to escalate. Now let's talk about how just because you're not a tough guy, that don't mean you are uh, a punk. You're not a weakling. You don't allow people to just steamroll right over the top of you. You don't allow that as a man regardless. So you need to move with wisdom and you don't want to um, put yourself in a situation where you have to fight unnecessarily, but you may be stuck in a situation where, hey, this is the best course of action. I gotta defend myself. I gotta actually do something to somebody. And you also want to ensure that you're just not being punked in general by people. Um, even if it doesn't rise to the level of you have to physically put your hands on someone, you don't want to um, be perceived as a weak man by people in general. You really don't want that as a man. You don't want to be perceived as just being a pushover, someone that will just take it, someone that will just take punishment because if you allow people to do it, people will definitely run all over the top of you. I'm talking about everybody. I'm talking about a, a 90 year old grandma would just run right over the top of you if you're that weak of a person and you just allow it to happen. And even your own loved ones would do it to you if you just allow it to happen. It's just, unfortunately, it's just a part of human nature to dominate the weak. So if um, you are a weak person, um, unfortunately, you're going to be dominated unless someone else is protecting you or else you are able to protect yourself. So as a man, certain levels there are there are certain levels of disrespect where it should become physical and what i mean by that is it's such an overt level of disrespect um and i'll use it i'll use an example of it it's moved beyond the point of simply words it's moved beyond the point of an accidental touch it's moved up to the point of this person is now disrespecting you in ways where they're they're putting their hands on you inappropriately. And as soon as someone put their hands on you inappropriately, you don't know this person. Or even if you do know this person and they're just taking it way too far, now it's reached a whole new level. And as a citizen, you do have the right to defend yourself. You always have that right to, to protect yourself against any type of physical harm. And if someone... Um, let's say disrespects you in other ways that aren't necessarily physically harming you but um, they're just very overt um, and criminal uh, I have the perfect example for that uh, let's say if someone spits in your face that spit did not necessarily cause you physical harm 
by itself, unless that person um, had some sort of disease or something like that, um, that person spitting on you, that has reached the level of assault. That is a felony assault in certain states in America. So once it reaches to a level of that, that's not even on 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 uh, on the level of petty disrespect anymore. That's on a whole new level. And at that point, I would always use wisdom. Don't allow people to run over the top of you. Don't allow people to punk you. It doesn't have to always become physical, but always stand up for yourself as a man. Stand up for your loved ones. You don't want people to punk you, punk your loved ones, or you don't want that to happen. You're, you, are, you're, you are a protector as a man. So you need to protect. And it doesn't have to always become physical, but if it does, unfortunately, it's part of being a man. This has been Young Manhood. Please click, click the like button, the subscribe button, and share button. Thank you.